All right, this video is a follow-up to clarify a couple of points about multi-switches for satellite dishes. I felt that I missed a couple of points in my first video on this topic and wanted to clear those up in this video. This video is not going to be as detailed as the first one. If you want to learn more about multi-switches and how they are connected to a dish and more about how they work, then watch the first video. There's a link in the description for that one. A multi-switch lets you connect multiple satellite receivers to a single dish while maintaining independent polarity control of horizontal and vertical polarized channels on each receiver. Switches like this can be used to connect four, eight, or even more receivers to a single dish. One thing I want to make clear is that the multi-switch must be connected to a dual output LNB. The two outputs on the LNB connect to the two inputs on the switch, one for horizontal, one for vertical, and that ensures that the two polarities, horizontal and vertical, get mixed properly at each receiver, meaning you'll get all the channels at each receiver and you can control the polarities independently as you change channels on each receiver. If you don't connect this to a dual output LNB, then you're going to be missing channels at each receiver. And that brings me to my next point. Connecting this switch to a single output LNB will not work because a single output LNB only has one cable coming out of it and you have two inputs on the switch. So you're either going to connect that output to the horizontal or the vertical input on your switch, but not both. You'll be missing a whole polarity's worth of signals. You're only gonna get half of the TV channels on a satellite, so don't do that. A switch like this is really only beneficial if you're connecting more than two receivers to a dish. As I said in my last video, you can also use a multi-output LNB, a dual, a quad, or even an eight-output LNB. Either method will give you fully independent polarity control at each receiver as you change channels. One other thing is that a switch like this does not need an external power supply. Any voltage it requires is passed back from the receiver through the coax cable through the switch to the LNB.